one, I too have experienced dreadful problems since I allowed Dr. Al Muteris operate on me. He not only denies any wrongdoing but he denies anything is wrong. The opinions of other surgeons, physiotherapists, doctors and the indisputable evidence of scans and nerve conduction studies mean nothing to him. I now have to live with more pain and long-term disability than I did before his surgery, but I also have the added burdens on frustration, anger and resentment. If the stories Dr. Al Muteris tells is true, he must surely know how powerful these reactions are. I have had further surgery since, not by him, and that has helped somewhat but it has come at great financial and personal cost. Some days are better than others but I still need to take pain medication if I have to stand, walk or even sit for more than a couple of hours. Proper sleep is a thing of the past. Knowing that other people have experienced the arrogance of Dr. Al Muteris is of little comfort to me but I hope it is to you. I am sincerely sorry that your brave attempts to get justice have been so difficult and fruitless. I have not ruled out the possibility of legal action myself so I need to be mindful of what I write and to whom I write. I have looked at your website and while I commend you for bringing this dreadful situation to light and know firsthand the anger felt at the injustice, I believe some of the comments posted there are very unhelpful. Prior to surgery I thought I had done the research on Dr. Al Muteris and felt very privileged to have him operate. Now I realize I was responding to his gift of the gab and to the publicity he has engineered. I cringe every time I see his smirky face in the media. So too do family, friends and my healthcare workers. Good doctors don't spend their time self-promoting because they are too busy being good doctors and they don't need to anyway. Ethical doctors at least admit to problems and mistakes or at very least use the term complications. Dr. Al Muteris in my experience is neither good or ethical. He literally operates on arrogance and pride. He will one day bring himself unstuck if someone else doesn't do it first. Good luck with your endeavors and your recovery. Name withheld but we have communicated previously and you have owe me permission to publish this email on your website as a warning to others.